When I first started here at the Center for Elder Law and Justice, I was looking to fill an internship requirement for my undergraduate degree. I didn't know much about the agency or what they did, but it didn't take long for me to learn and to be completely swept up by that mission. I knew going into law school that I wanted to be in an, an environment where I felt like I was able to help someone every day. And I feel very lucky and grateful to be surrounded um, by a collaborative environment of individuals who are truly passionate about what they're doing that just emanates through the hallways at CELJ. It's a, a, a great experience. I've seen a lot of growth in the agency and that growth is out of the need of our older adults in our community. Not only do we do client advocacy, so again, where our clients are, we meet them and then help them with whatever issue they're having, but we also do systematic advocacy. So when we see an issue that we think needs to be addressed, we address it on an individual basis and then go after on a system level if that's possible. The agency has really become this statewide resource on um, issues impacting older adults. You know, we've been around for 40 years, we provide direct services, um, and I think the rest of the country and the state are starting to catch up to the fact that we have this crisis coming. 10,000 people a day are turning age 65, and there are very few organizations that really focus you know, on legal services for older adults. And that makes us really unique. I think we're one of the best kept secrets in the community. Uh, we have many partnerships with agencies, so the word is getting out there. But again, I don't know if people realize how multifaceted and powerful this agency can be. You know, for our clients, they don't have access to the justice system. We're dealing with marginalized populations. Um, so, you know, we are the justice system for them. When we help them get their housing situated, when we protect them from violence, when we get them the benefits that they deserve and, and have worked for, you know, we are accessing these, the system of justice that they would have no idea how to access without our help. There's a certain emotional component to working here, but at the same time, you have to take a step back and realize that you're there to help. You can't help someone if you're too emotionally invested in their situation. And, and really, I think you have to be sort of a beacon of light for them. Compassion. Compassion is uh, the most unique value I found uh, within the agency. It's not hard when working here to find inspiration in watching your coworkers. Every single person here goes above and beyond the job description because they know that they are very lucky to have the chance to do work that makes a difference for our community. What I have learned through working here is that the healthcare system is one that sets you up for failure by design. It's a really complicated system to navigate for anyone, let alone a population of people who may be vulnerable due to advanced age, illness, disability, and a number of other factors. Every time we assist a client who get uh, either citizenship or who get a green card is uh, uh, a good thing for the community because that will help them uh, to get involved in different ways uh, here in uh, Buffalo and they can be able to uh, buy houses or uh, vote, they can be able to uh, contribute to the uh, city or the community. During the day-to-day, -day, you know, your day-to-day -day work, it can sometimes be easy to be discouraged it's easy to get burned out or to be concerned, you know, that the work that you're doing isn't important or not making a difference. But one of the nice things about working at the Center for Elder Law and Justice is that those moments of discouragement don't last very long. I might hear about something that the housing unit is doing. Maybe they stayed off an eviction for one of our clients. Maybe the foreclosure unit was able to save somebody's home. The healthcare unit was able to get somebody the coverage that they need. Um, whatever it may be, on any given day, I can look around and see that the Center for Elder Law and Justice is making a difference. I just love the fact that, you know, that our young lawyers are being asked to testify in Albany. Um, we have a lawyer who was asked to join a kinship care uh, national committee, very prestigious. Uh, we're being asked to write and comment on legislation, not just from our local delegation, but from all over. Um, we're speaking at national conferences. I mean, we're really, 
um, being recognized for having built up this expertise. And I think it's really exciting um, for me, having been here for a while, but also for a lot of our young and new staff because they really can see that the kind of impact they're able to make. We don't just say to our client, what can we do for you? I think we're pretty good at saying, what else can we do for you? So we'll say, you know, maybe we should give this case to housing, or maybe we should give this person to consumer. So it's not just that immediate problem that we, we address. We see what else we can do to, to, again, make sure that our clients are, are at the best level they can possibly be. Every single donation means something um, of great importance to me and the staff. And it doesn't matter so much the amount of each gift, but the fact that people give. A $10 gift might not seem that much, but it could be a lot of money for somebody who, you know, maybe is living on Social Security or maybe doesn't have that much money. So I've spoken a lot about how special the community is here at the Center for Elder Law and Justice and how lucky we are to be able to be doing purpose-driven work. But something that's really beautiful is that a piece of that community is available to anybody. Any single person can share by supporting us, can share in that community and that cause. So I, every day that I come into work at the Center for Elder Law and Justice, I feel lucky, I feel blessed, I feel like I've been given a gift to do meaningful work. But the beautiful thing is, is that even if you don't have that opportunity in your own work, you can take a piece of that opportunity by supporting us in the work that we do. You can join our community and join our cause. Thank you for helping us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for helping us light the way for justice.